Hi everyone, I hope you are well. Welcome back to Budget Safe Grow. So today I'm going to be doing my cash stuffing. I'm going to be stuffing the envelopes that go in my purse, my sinking funds binders. We've got a few um, coins to stuff and my 52 week challenge. So I'm just going to crack on um, so that we can, you know, fly through it. So the first thing I've got is um, uh, one pound, uh, sorry, I beg your pardon, two pound 51 in coins here. That's gonna go straight in the coin jar and I'm gonna cross off what I've got on here and I can go right down to 16. There we go. So I reckon next week, if I try and save some coins, um, we might be able to finish this one off next week. I think it's about pound twenty odd or something like that until we're done. So then I can change that up. So that'll be really good. Got that one done. You will see that my um, 50, pounds of two pound coins is not in here it's because we changed it up and that 50 pounds is here so um we'll stuff that a bit later on which was very exciting so that's that done let's do our um little envelopes that go in my purse to start with so this week we will be stuffing 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 5, 75, 85, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 130 pounds today. Plus I'm gonna be doing the 50 pounds for um, the two pound challenge that I finished. So petrol is going to get it's usual 20 that can go in there that's that one miscellaneous gets five let's separate those out miscellaneous always gets five i bought my son's shampoo with that last week so that will last ages so that's brilliant and food this is for a top-up shop gets 10 Thank you for all of you who um, commented and watched my grocery haul. Obviously, it was, um, funny enough, as I was doing it, I was thinking, is this a good one to film? And then I thought, actually, it is. Because even though I grow a lot of food um, and we do eat quite simple meals, um, you know, we do buy snacks. And so some weeks, um you know it's quite heavy on the snacks and then that will last us three weeks and it got me thinking about somebody said about convenience food and i think it's really important to show in your budget that um i do not live on my own i live my husband and my son live with me and they have different wants and needs and as i was watching the video back ready to upload I saw myself saying, oh, this one's, this is for my husband. He really likes those. This is for my son. He really likes those. So there's always an element of compromise in any budget, isn't there? Because if it was me, I wouldn't buy like biscuits. I just don't eat them. They're not my, they're not my thing, you know? So if I lived on my own, that would be instantly cut from my budget. But you do have to compromise as a family, don't you, about what, and make sure everybody's happy with what food you're buying and things like that. So, so yeah, that was really, that was really interesting. But anyway, let me crack on before I start waffling too much. So gifts isn't getting anything this week. Clothes is going to get five. So that's only got five in at the moment. So that will now have 10. Bramble, he's actually going to get 15 this week because um, his boosters will be coming up in the next six weeks. So I want to stuff a bit more in there, um, sort of extra on top of his bulk food. So so that's good, that's up done. Camping is going to get 10, because that's going to come round 
in the summer holidays. That's now got 10, 20, 30, 40, 55. Yeah, and you know, there's another thing that can be said for convenience um, is time. How much is your time worth? Oh, home isn't being done. Sons is going to get five. Um, you know, I'd love to make every single meal we eat from scratch. And in fact, I'd love to grow every single meal we eat, then cook it from scratch and then use leftovers. However, I work... You know, we're a real family, five pounds going in friends. Um, I work, I have the garden, we have to walk the dog. I have a son that I do most of the school runs for. You know, so it, my time is quite limited. Garden has five. I'm going to put five in. Um, you know, so again, that's another compromise you have to make with your budget, isn't it? Is it worth your time? to make a pizza from scratch one night a week or just buy a frozen one and add to it and sling it in the oven, which is more economical in terms of time. You know, it's interesting, isn't it? Anyway, body. So the lovely um, Budget Lux. I bought um, two dashboard thingy bobbies um, from her and she included the envelope, which was really sweet of her. Um, because I slowly, slowly, I'm trying to get all the all the binders, every category, um, with her dashboards because I love them. Um, instinctively, I just want to go on and spend about forty quid and do it all in one go, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to um, put five pounds in health now. This is going to be health rather than body. Um, so every now and again, if I've got a bit of um, bank buffer. I'm just going to buy a couple of envelopes and then gradually get all the folders done. So that's that. Lovely. And these are my longer term saving funds. So Christmas, that's going to get 10. Um, so there we go. Whoops. This has now got 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 190. So that's good. In there, can't cross off a, a thingy bobby yet. Actually, I've got another one for home. Is that in here? Health. And home. Yeah, there we go. Look, I'm going to swap this over as well. Let's take the money out. So yeah, I bought two this week from the Budget Lux on Etsy. Really super quick, sends them out pretty much the next day. She was fantastic. So home has now got 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. There we go. Her designs are so simple and, um, and sweet. I really like them. There we go. It's a bit all over the place today, isn't it? Sorry about that. There we go. Okay, so back to this. So Ireland is going to get 10 this week. One, two. So in here we have got 100, 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65. We'll be going in July, so that's fine. I can just tick that one over. Savings is going to get its usual £5 every week. I stick £5 in the savings pot. 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 210. Still haven't gotten around to doing anything with that 200. When I get time, <laughs> I will. Bills is fully stuffed and car is not getting anything. This is the boy's binder. So for his birthday, he's going to get five. Oh, crumbs. That always happens with this one. I'll sort that out in a minute. Birthday is going to get five. So we've got 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, 135 for his birthday. There we go. School holidays. Now... 
what I'm going to do is at the moment, I'm just going to stuff the half term one. So half term is coming up. One, two. And that is going to go in half term. So that's £10. 20, 30, whoops, 40, 55 now in half term. That's not bad actually because um, it's coming up uh, next week, but he's got a sleepover and things like that. So we're not, it's not going to be a spendy half term. Trips is empty. He's going on his trip next week, going camping with the school. Very excited. School uniform is going to get five. So in here, we've got 20, 40, 55. And I'm adding this last five. So that's 60 in there. I need to get him his polo shirts in half term. So that's that. That's the binders done. And there we go. Then, whoopsie, that's my little list of what I was doing. Here we are. So we have got our £50 that we saved up in £2 coins. 20 40 50 And what I said I was going to do is split it in half. So there's £25 there each and 25 is going to go in the summer holidays, school holidays. There we go. So obviously the summer holidays are six weeks. So I really need to start bumping that one up. So I'm using all my coin um, challenges to help put some money in there. So that's half term. We stuffed that a minute ago. The summer holidays has already got 20 in. And I'm now going to add in 25. So that's got 45 pounds now ready for the summer holidays. We better start chucking a load in there because that six weeks seems to just go on and on and on, doesn't it? There we go. That's that one. And of course, the last 25 pounds is going to go into my 52 week challenge. These are my, let's do this one, cut up Christmas cards. Um, at the end of the year, I cut up my Christmas cards, stick them together with washi or paper tape so they're from bit, you know, fully recyclable and put in whatever I have left over. So this week I'm going to put this £25 just to give it a bit of a top up. And um, this money is going to be used for 2024 to help get a head start on my envelopes so that I don't start the year with zero. So there you go, that was that. Sorry, it went on and it was a bit waffly. Um, it just really made me think actually, because showing your grocery shop actually is quite exposing. It's really weird. Um, and, but I just want to say, you know, it's okay to compromise. It's okay to have convenience food. Because if that's how it fits into your life, you know, go for it. We don't really go out to eat. We don't often get um, takeaways, usually special occasions or every now and again. And our takeaway is always um, chips, halloumi and onion rings. <laughs> and for three of us, it costs under £10. Um, because our local fish and chip shop has such huge portions that between the three of us... Um, we can't even manage, you know, over a tenner's worth. So, you know, snacks and things like that, that's what my husband and my son want and need. And so that's what we do. So our, our meals are actually relatively cheap. I know I've shown them on Instagram, but perhaps one week I'll do a what we ate for dinner over, over five or seven days, um, if you're interested. Anyway, love you lots. Thanks so much for coming along for the ride and I will speak to you next time. Bye bye.